What's up, everybody? Today is a special day. I just want to say welcome to MBT, hey. aka Movie Box Talks. We here. We here. <laughs> we finally doing it. <laughs> uh, movie Box Talks is a movie review podcast where we conduct interviews with black filmmakers. We also review your favorite movies and TV shows. Yes. So with me today, I have Rihanna. That is not her name. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Tell the audience what your name is. Ronnie <clears throat> Lou, what it do? Hey y'all, it's your <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl Ronnie Lou. <laughs> I'm here with my people. We are so excited. Thank you guys for tuning in and joining us today on MBT. Yes. What's up, everybody? I'm Fedora. I'm also your host. Um, <laughs> I'm excited. We got a lot of things planned on our other episodes mm-hmm. and. All three of us collectively are movie freaks. Yes. We we figured that out as we've been working together over the past like six months. So yeah, I'm looking forward to to our episodes. I just wanna say I, I do know your name. I just wanted to <laughs> break the ice, you know, get everybody comfortable. Cozy. As the main host should do. Um <laughs> let's jump into the first topic. Um Ronnie, let's let's start with you. Let's let's Yes. Let's give these people, you know, the audience a chance to get to know who we are and why we have the right to talk about what we're going to talk about. Of course. Um, and who we are individually. So we'll start with you. Yeah. Okay. You know, what, what's something you are more excited about in your career or what are you most proud of that you've done in your career? Um. Well, hey, everybody. My name is Ronnie. Ronnie Lou. Um, I am a actress. I am a model. I'm also a media correspondent with 24-7 Live Culture. Let's go. Uh, woo, woo. <laughs> um, follow them if you haven't. But um, yes, what am I most excited for in the future? Um, y'all, I'm just really excited to get my career um, on a continuous rolling ball. Um, I'm excited to have my first, um, it doesn't even have to be leading, but you know, like my first role on a feature film yes. um, to where I'm either the lead, the co-lead, mm-hmm. um, you know, of some sort. And what am I most excited about that I've done? I'm most excited for my 2023, y'all. Um, I feel like 2023 set the tone. Um, I showed up for myself more than I ever have. Yeah, um, exactly. When it comes to my career in the industry, um, I have done commercials and photo shoots, and I've worked with large brands. Um, so I'm, I'm just really excited for um, everything that the future holds. I feel like everything is coming into fruition. And it will happen. Yes, it is. <laughs> God's willing. Everything yes. is happening. Yes. yes. So I'm just thankful. I'm just happy. I'm just excited. I love that. <laughs> that's what's up. That, that that's that's really exciting. And um, you know, you 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 said you you found yourself in 2023. Yeah. I think that's that's. I think we all kind of find ourselves around that time. And you know, honest. I think that I heard 2023 was the year of I guess realization, yeah. and then this is the year of fruitation. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's definitely true. Mm-hmm. Another question for you. Where, when did you know you were in love with film and the entertainment industry? I knew I was in love with the entertainment industry as a kid. Y'all, I used to think that I could literally jump into my TV <laughs> <laughs> and be like on Barney or something. Ah, uh, the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it Man. didn't work. <laughs> Anyways, um, I knew around that time I was really into the entertainment industry. I was into TV and film. But you guys, I was so shy. I had the opportunity to do something I don't know what it was my mom took me I don't know if it was Disney Nickelodeon but I had to be like five years old all they asked me to do was literally say my name and birthday and I looked at these people like who the hell y'all talking to and I'm not telling y'all nothing (laughs) and so it was just kind of like one of those things like you know everything happens for a reason and I'm thankful for being able to grow up and then learn that this is actually what I want to do versus feeling like I was pushed into it right yeah. so yeah, yeah. Most definitely. If, it's, if it's something that you want to do you you kind of you know you focus on it more you exactly you kind of like go at it a little bit more exactly. a little bit harder yeah. Yeah. you put in more of the work exactly so okay. i'm i'm okay with how everything happened but i did realize at a very young age like i'm gonna be on tv and i'm gonna <laughs> be doing this i just didn't know when but it's now <laughs> it's now well, you <laughs> had a big imagination because you thought you could jump through the tv so. i did yeah you did. No. I don't think I did. Did you try? 
No. I don't. I don't know. You can tell us. I don't think so because you know y'all remember those big like before the like plasma flat screens, oh. but like the oh, big okay. ones with the butts. Yeah. Right. We had one of those, okay. and I was terrified of my to, dad. Where you had to get up and actually like turn it. Oh uh, no. Oh. She okay. talking about the plasma. Well, I'm sure <laughs> my yeah. age. She bougie. We know. I'm sure yeah. my age. Yeah. A old for old. No, we <laughs> definitely. Like, I don't know what kind of TV that is. We <laughs> definitely had a remote, <laughs> but it was like it was just oh. big. It was like a floor TV, but it was mm. like big. It was like one tall. of them, like bulky kind of like yeah. yeah I, those TVs. I feel like there was like a video somewhere where somebody had put a hole in the wall, and then oh, they wow. put the TV, put the TV in, in there? so yeah. that they could make it look yeah. like it was a flat Last screen. screen. So, and saying that to say, my dad got that. I was terrified of him. So, I wasn't <laughs> touching that TV. <laughs> I wasn't going to fly through Can't it and then the I think come back. Yeah. He wasn't going to kill me. <laughs> and I left the TV alone. I, it right. just was in my head. I thought I could do it. So, you so you would say you watched a lot of TV then, back then, right? Yeah. Okay. So, segue into my last question for you. You know, what is your favorite all-time show or movie? <sighs> like, what did you watch on that that big ass okay, TV y'all. that you had? I was a Disney Channel fanatic, okay. and I've been yes. going on, on um, Instagram recently. You guys been seeing all the like, "What's your favorite show? What's your favorite movie?" Yeah. Disney Channel had me in a chokehold probably until I graduated high school. <laughs> 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 I loved. Um, I will say, at least growing up, my absolute all time favorite show was That So Raven. Uh, oh, she wow, could do Raven. absolutely no wrong, and yeah. y'all. I used to. She was so funny. <laughs> Not the look. <laughs> <laughs> I used Wait, to try to see you visions. You got to the camera. Right. You got oh, to the camera's eye. You got to do. <laughs> <laughs> right. Did you see that? Yeah. No. <laughs> you felt that. That was you. You guys. I felt that in her soul. Well, yeah. We're going to get some food after this. I okay. seen it. Is it? I seen it. What kind of food? What kind of food? Chicken. Chicken. Okay. And okay. fries. Chicken and fries. Okay, chicken right. and fries. <laughs> So that's what Raven was your all time favorite show or movie. Yes. Or show. Growing up. Growing up. Growing Ronnie, just up. Do it. Ronnie, just do the look for us one more time. Yeah, one more time yeah. for Adam. <laughs> now, like, that don't make you want to follow MBT. I don't know. I don't no. know what it does. You know what I'm saying? That that right there alone should make you want to go follow and subscribe. Y'all, facts. <laughs> don't take me seriously. Oh, my gosh. We're going to get so many followers off that. Exactly. No, for real. Seriously. I yeah. just tuned in it's just, gonna go viral. just to see Ronnie just do Just to see look. Ronnie do the look. <laughs> There's going to be a daily thing where they ask for it almost every week now. Y'all are going to make me hot. Please don't ask for that. Don't have me on here. Oh, man. You guys are funny. Uh, Ronnie Lou, everybody. That was her. Yeah. Getting to know her. Ronnie Lou, not Rihanna. Not Rihanna, y'all. Okay. I am me. I am Ronnie. Rihanna (laughs) wish. No, I'm just joking. I wish I could. For my next host, Fedora. Tell us something about you. Hey. you know hey, tell, us, tell us something about your career and your path and leading yes. up to MBT. Well, hello, y'all. I'm Fedora. I'm hey, girl. I'm um, 24-7 Live Culture. VP. Okay. Period. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm an actress. I'm a writer. Um, and I'm an award-winning actress. You know? Yes. A period. There you go. There you go. Uh, well, no, I really That's my am, friend, but... y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, so I didn't forgot the question. I'll go over it again. <laughs> <laughs> I just started talking about myself, um, and it was just like, and which is cool, when you're you know, great, you, you know. To, to talk about yourself, promote yourself. But <laughs> the question I have for you, um, same as Ronnie's, is uh, you know, what's something that you're excited about in your career, or what's something that you're most proud of? Yes. Um. So my acting journey has been like a real blessing, mm-hmm. and God has like really shown me like this is where He's placed me. Mm-hmm. So I would say, like, the evolution of me has been um, really amazing to test all the different levels that I could do. Um, So what was really exciting is last year, for the first time, I started working on my short film, which is now going to be into a feature. I'm actually co-writing it with Dion. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm so so excited. That's something to look forward to. But most importantly, I, I realized that not only do I like being on camera, but I also love being behind the scenes mm-hmm. and working on set. Um, I was able to be a script supervisor on Ellie Undercover 2. Yes. And I really, really enjoyed that. Like, I loved it. <laughs> loved it. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing more of that. Mm-hmm. Um, exercising all of my gifts. Yeah. Writing, yeah. directing. Um, well, even if it's just something where like I'm on set and 
I'm the queen of crew. Like just being mm-hmm. immersed in that world to mm-hmm. me um, is amazing. And I feel like that's something that I'm most proud of that I've stepped up and done done those things. Well, you know, in this industry, it takes a team. So it really doesn't matter where yeah. you are. You know, I feel like all positions, they really matter. No, and do. you realize yeah. that when you're on big productions, you know, and it's right. like, Without the little people, you guys wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it, we we all matter. Everybody yeah. matters. So. Everybody plays a part. Yeah. I and think it, <clears throat> I think it goes more into like you being kind of like that Swiss Army knife on any set that you work on. Right. So mm-hmm. you you know how to do multiple roles, and I think that keeps you in this business because mm-hmm. right. if you don't know how to do one thing, you probably won't last that long in Hollywood. No, That's just you, you know from what I've seen. You, you know definitely I mean? so have to be a jack of being, all trades. Yeah, jack yeah. of all trades in that. That, that's that's be, what's up. You have to do, be Mrs. Do It Yourself. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, because somebody may not show up to work that day. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And it's like, all right, I got to fill in. Exactly. Where they just I, be what do I need mm-hmm. to be? Okay, I got to play that character today. Yep. You know, let me study these lines real quick. Or, mm-hmm. or oh, okay, nobody was helping with crafty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me go ahead and, you know? <laughs> exactly. You definitely have exactly. to be proactive. Right. Proactiveness is a skill that everybody in this industry should definitely have. I Hone agree. into, work on. Mm-hmm. You you got to get to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's what's up. So when did you know you were in love with film or entertainment? Man. Y'all, <laughs> since I was a little girl, okay, I'm talking about, I, I was an only child for 10, 11 years, so mm-hmm. I had a huge imagination, a lot of imaginary friends. <laughs> 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 um, but do y'all remember that 90s film, um, that 90s film, uh, Harriet the Spy? Oh my, yes. No. Okay. Oh man. Okay. So, Harriet the Spy, uh, really quickly, is this, is this young girl who goes around in her neighborhood and, mm-hmm. like, spies on people and she thinks she's, like, some type of detective. Yeah. Anywho, I used to think that I was her <laughs> and she had, like, this yellow trench coat. Mm-hmm. I didn't have the yellow trench coat. So, I would um, put on my little red robe mm-hmm. <laughs> and go outside in my robe have my little pen in my notebook and just like examine things outside of my house. Did you and have the wow. magnifying glass? I did. Oh, that's I so did. cute. Just like her. Just oh, like her. Man. I loved that movie so much. And yeah. I re- and I would even make the nasty tomato sandwiches. Like I wanted to be. <laughs> you took it there. Oh my God. I wanted to. I took it there. I took it there. My mom. You was committed. It. I was committed. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to go was, watch this. I was committed. Yeah. Um, But. But no, I've always loved the arts. Um, mm. I used to dance, and then I did try modeling. Mm-hmm. Um, but my first love was film and movies. I loved going to Blockbuster yeah. with mm-hmm. my uncle and with my mom, like looking forward to renting a movie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while. Like I've yeah. always, I've always been in love with it. Yeah. That you took me back as Harriet the Spy. I'll tell you my story when I when I tell my my part about okay. me. But Harriet the Spy played a big role in why you know I do the things that I do. Oh wow! Um, and I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, but that was like Dang. one of my favorite childhood movies growing up. Yeah, like you took me back. It just had me visualize, and I had like no. the. I went and bought like a like a shit ton of journals. No, the same exact ones from I think- like. I think it was a store called Borders. It was like a bookstore back in the day. I remember yeah, Borders. Mm-hmm. I remember Borders. I, used to, I, used to, I brought like hella little journals back then. I used to write Man, just all the time. I'm trying to That's tell crazy. you, that movie really like set the scale for it me did. as far as like my imagination. Yeah. I was already mm-hmm. a, a kid that like had a huge imagination, um, but mm-hmm. I didn't realize. Is until, this it? Huh? Is this it? Yep, that's, that's it. it. Okay. Carry the mm-hmm. Spy. Yep, it has Rosie O'Donnell in it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a really good movie. And I think I related to it, too. We can get off this top- topic in a second. but I, yeah. uh, <laughs> um, Just to add this little tidbit, I think um, I was really connected with it because of her relationship with her parents. Mm-hmm. And so it was this child who had parents. Mm-hmm. And I, if I'm mistaken, I think they were going through a separation or something they were. like that. Yeah. yeah. And um, so I related to her because... That stemmed from being lonely. Yeah. So for yeah. me, it's like, okay, I'm gonna go outside and find something to do. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna mm-hmm. find, I'm gonna find something. These neighbors up to something. Like exactly. I really was like, you know, trying wanted to, to be a spy, to trying to see what's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's fun though. Yeah. So, so yeah. So that's where the love came from. Is okay. when I was a child. 
Okay. That's what's up. Um, and then the last question for you is, you know, what is your favorite all-time show or movie? Or you could do both. Ooh, all-time favorite show or movie. Mm. Okay, so the movie is going to be Grease. Grease? Grease? That's interesting. Right? I was going to okay. say. Grease. <laughs> but it's kind of um, switching over to La La Land. Oh, so you like musicals? I do like musicals. Okay. okay. Um, but... I like really good musicals. I can't really get with some of them where you're singing every five seconds. Like, so now I gotta, no, Grease was a great musical. I gotta know musical. now what you know. What's your favorite musical? Because I got a bunch of them in my head that I'm thinking. Are you? I would. I'm not a big musical person. You're not a big musical person. You yeah, just love musical. I just like, okay. You I love just, good music. Good musical quality. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense. Uh, but yeah, Grease. How do you feel about Hairspray? Oh, uh, she's pausing. I don't know. Right, I don't. I don't know if that was a mm. good question. What about? <laughs> well, I just feel like they remade Hairspray, and I feel like they recently remade Hairspray, right? Or is it? It's been a. It's been a. It's minute. been a minute. It's oh, been a minute, yeah. but been they minute. did remake it. The original. The original one, I think, was in the eighties. And yeah. then they remade yeah. it in like in the, the early 2000s. Two, yeah, with John Travolta. And, and then then they remake it again. I don't think so. I don't think I don't they know. did. Yeah, oh, okay, I could be wrong. If we're wrong, let us know. But right. you know, I don't. don't I don't me. know. Yeah. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll just scratch that hairspray question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, next question. Oh, I, Sorry. Okay, I got one then. Five heartbeats or the temptation. Oh, yeah, that's a good. Why one. would you do that to me? Because I gotta put you on the spot because you like musical. Oh my gosh, oh, that's both a good of them one. are top tier. Right, I'm gonna say like, those are what? great Can't movies. Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. no! I was watching uh, the Let's... Five Heartbeats and Temptation is literally like a few days the ago. other night. Yeah. We're gonna have to do a podcast on this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna <laughs> be that's gonna be another topic. Five Heartbeats and the Temptation. Okay. okay. Musicals. Musicals. <laughs> okay. Musicals. Write it down. Okay. So you, Dion. So, All right, so let let the world know. A yeah, bit about who yourself. is Dion? Who is so, Dion? Yeah, it's your main host here for this okay, episode. Okay, main host. <laughs> uh, main well, character. I, I energy. go by Dion, um, award-winning writer. Period. Um, actor. Um, that's pretty much me. Uh, my journey through getting me to this point. Um, I started writing at the age of eleven. Um, going back to what Fedora said, Harriet the Spy played a huge role in me kind of discovering my ma- imagination but also um i was a big fan of disney channel as well mm-hmm. i used to watch these kids on there who would interview celebrities they were called the movie surfers oh i remember wow. and i just Taking knew yeah i just knew as a Dang. kid i wanted to be on tv doing that i want to interview movie stars like yeah that was and they worked for disney that's right. that was the thing back in the day i wanted to work for disney so i couldn't break in i tried my hardest to figure out figure out on you know the internet trying to find ways to get in there and be a movie surfer right. couldn't find out my mom couldn't really afford to take me to acting school because it, mm-hmm. it was me and my brother she had a lot of us so yeah. couldn't do that um so I, I started writing my own stuff pretty much i wrote a story my first script was called so sick and it was about this girl who broke my heart in middle oh. school was right? it based on a true story based on a true story oh. yeah it was terrible I'm not gonna lie to you. This shit was terrible. How old it was trash. How, huh? how old were you? I, did, I was twelve. Oh, twelve. Yeah, Sheesh. I remember going to Borders, reading a shit ton of screenwriting books, uh, Sid Field books, Save the Cat, oh, dang. Story. Mm-hmm. I read all those books way back when I was young. Wow. <laughs> like you know, kids be outside playing. I was at the library reading books on how to write stuff, and I wrote it on Microsoft Word. I didn't have no screenwriting, you know. Screen mm-hmm. minus formatting or nothing. I was tab, enter, mm-hmm. tab, enter for like a hundred and something pages. I kid you not. I still have this script in my email. And it was terrible. It was like trash. Just terrible. So uh, <laughs> over the course of. Have you to like rewrite it? I did. Um, but I don't know how, I don't know if I would now. I think that that part of me is gone. Mm-hmm. Or that version of me is gone. I've, I've mm-hmm. seen so much now. Coming back to where I am now, I'm like, I don't want it. Yeah, yeah so, you were 12. Yeah, I was 12. <clears throat> and the girl... Everything's not glitz and glamour as it's not. on the TV. And then Clearly. they're having like all of these yeah. documentaries coming out about mm-hmm. how these directors and producers were treating oh, yeah. 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 Cel- mm-hmm. these, these people, celebrity mm-hmm. stars that so we it, all looked up to. Mm-hmm. It yeah, it might have been a good thing that I didn't go, because who knows what could have happened if right. I would have been in that space. And, exactly. You know what I mean? Just that environment. It was crazy. You have actors... Um, 
child actors who um have a strange relationships with their parents because mm-hmm. of you know the the, exactly. the right. things that happen when they were on set and yeah. their parents they feel like they weren't protected or <laughs> terrible. it it's is terrible. terrible it's so terrible. sad so my <clears throat> exactly but that's kind of where i kind of got the love of that you know okay. the screenwriting from um and just over the course of the years i just kind of worked my ass off just writing 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 not stopping mm-hmm. and then in 2022 i got a call saying that one of my scripts had won the ABFF, what? Uh, what? which is the American Black Film Festival. Yes, um, I go. I didn't believe it at all because I was like, I thought it was a joke to be honest. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you how God works. I had just got declined for the Black Boy Black Girl uh, Writer Mentorship. Mm-hmm. They had just told me that they weren't it. They weren't you know passing my application. So I was like a little bummed by that. Yeah. And I got the phone call saying that I won this competition. And I was just like. On what script? I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, your script called The Saints. And I was like, that is my script. Oh, and I just yeah. remember I, I was just listening to music because I was cooking. And dreams and, <laughs> and then Dreams and Nightmares came on right after that. Wow. Right after the, I hung up, um, hung up on the phone. I was just like, this is a sign. Like, mm-hmm. I made it to where I want to be now, basically. But that's kind of how my Amazing. journey went through that. Just wrote a bunch of shit, read a bunch of shit, and kind of got that to that point. I love that. <laughs> So yeah. I love that too. That's amazing. <laughs> and then I also love that um, you know, every time you think that something bad happens, there's, yeah, always, something there's always something good something waiting for yeah. Exactly. So <clears throat> Okay, so question. Mm-hmm. Um, so where do you see yourself in the next six months? <coughs> um, so the next six months, um I just wrote my first T V episode, uh, twenty twenty three. Okay. Um, I wanna build off of that and write for something else or have my own show that I'm writing for or that I'm a showrunner of. Yes. That's the goal in the next, that's the the short-term goal in the next six months. I love that. Are you, it'll happen. Are you going to tell our, our people what you have done? Yeah, so I wrote for A La Carte. It's premiere, it's season two just ended on, it's on All Black. Ooh. It's season one and season two is airing on there, so go watch it. Still yes. waiting to hear back from support season three, them. so please go support and watch it. Yeah. You know, bang Twitter, bang all them, and, and let them know that y'all want season three because we got yes. some really good stuff coming for season three if we get approved for it. A la yes, carte is a great that. show, y'all. Yes. Check check it out and check mm-hmm. out what my boy done written in the script for y'all <laughs> yeah, to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> check it out, check it out. Well, all right, y'all. So we're going to take a little short break. Um, we have a little sponsor message from our sponsors, 24-7 Live Culture. <laughs> Welcome back to MBT. So this episode, you've gotten to know us a little bit, and hopefully you continue to watch us. Yeah. I think you will, though, because we're kind of cool. Um, <laughs> but we're the so next cool. Right. <laughs> um, but the next episode, um, we're going to go over Love Jones, the best black romantic comedy probably out there right now. That's subjective. Subjective. Right. <laughs> My co-hosts don't agree, but we'll see. We'll tune into the next episode to see what you know we have to say about that. Yes. yes all right y'all all right y'all make sure that you you know hit that subscribe button give us yes. a thumbs up like this video comment um follow us on instagram at movie box talks yes at movie box talks um we also have a twitter account and um just follow us and interact with us we want to hear from you yes. um, we look forward to all the episodes that we got coming up yes um, so we'll see y'all next time leave some comments leave some reviews leave some recommendations yes. let us know what y'all want to see here let us know what y'all want us to talk about yes and if there's a movie that you want us to review yes. let us know let us at know at movie box talks at movie box talks <laughs> <laughs> y'all so corny <laughs> bye take care y'all <laughs>